there's your petting zoo. This is the first time being here, but I love this spot. I don't see any downsides. If you're... This nugget came Ooh. from this mine here. Oh, that's unbelievable. That's wow. huge. Get it down there. It's not, it's very... Oh! Oh, bad. Be careful. Oh, boy. Be care Today, we're headed up to Placerville, California. We're going to head over to Goldbug Mine, which is a gold mine. It was uh, established in 1849. Tonight, if the weather's good, we're going to go to a observatory where the, the roof opens up and they have telescopes and things in there, and it's all volunteer, and they're going to tell us about the moon and uh, different constellations, and maybe we'll see Cassiopeia. So we're here at the campground. We we'll go check into the office and uh, get all registered and checked in. See ya. Well, finally here at Placerville RV Campground. We're in spot number 88. It's a beautiful spot. It's the first time being here, but I love this spot. I don't see any downsides. If you're with people, then maybe you want to get some uh, places uh, together. But this is a single spot with a island um view basically they have a walking bridge that you would go over to the island and you could uh fish uh supposedly there's catfish and trout in there i believe it's stocked but the water is very very low so now we're going to take a little walk and take a look at some of the amenities what were your first impressions on arrival well you know what um better than expected pictures online don't do it justice it's a little bit nicer it's very quiet right now I'm gonna check out some of the amenities they have a little putting green a little putt-putt course over here we have just a little mini mini golf course they have uh, I believe a petting zoo they might have some animals there all right there's your petting zoo they have a pool swimming pool hot tub you get a uh, text um, before your arrival, just welcoming you and telling you what to do when you get here. And they explained about um, how some of the stuff works, some of the hours, and that they're going to have a movie tonight and uh, free popcorn and water. And that's uh, very nice. It's very well managed from what I can see at this point. And the cookies. Don't forget about the cookies. Oh, yeah. No, nah, when we pulled up, went and checked in. You pull up to the main office. You go check in. They give you a little map, tell you uh, how to get to your spot uh, with the rules. A little uh, car parking pass and some sample chocolate chip cookies. Otis Spunkmeyer. Otis Spunkmeyer. They have a community pavilion. Very cool. So you have different spots if you have different families and different things going on. So if you need to cook up here. It's awesome because they have these little cabins, little cabins over here that you can stay in if you don't have a, a trailer. So it's got very little bump, bumps for the kids and stuff. Yeah, very cool. Nice little... That's really nice. Yeah, it's fun. Nice and thirsty. Yeah. We've reached Goldbug Park. And uh, yeah, it looks, looks pretty cool. Everybody is just having a good time. Nice and quiet. There's some people gold mining down there. Yeah, we'll see what we do here. Yeah, it's a point okay. Who says you're in charge? I'm in charge. Okay, it's pretty simple. Hit the go button, no. and he'll talk to you for about 15 seconds, okay? And then once he tells you to go in, head on in. Once you're in there at each different station, hit the next key and hit that. 
and you're good to go. When you go into the mine, you're gonna go back about 200 feet and then the mine's gonna to jog to the left. All the gold was found in that first 200 feet. From here, you're gonna get back here, there's an ore car here, and you're gonna see a stoop that goes straight up, fresh air coming down. That goes up to the mine that's above it. Right up on top of the hill, there's the priest mine. The priest mine, okay? This was 1850. This is 1888. Okay, the first two guys would be like me and him coming on the weekends. Took 20 years to go 200 feet. Wow. After that, it took a, it progressed a lot faster. This nugget came Ooh. from this mine here. Oh, that's yeah. unbelievable. That's wow. huge. That little piece is called crystalline gold. That's worth five times that bigger piece. Really? You can see the top of it. See this right there, how it looks solid? Oh, yeah. That's solid gold. That's where. Don't you worry. I'll be right here with you while we go through the gold bug mine. You can count on that. Do you notice the support timbers around you? This timbering is used to support softer ground in mines and is as authentic as it gets. Well, the first thing I want to tell you is that we ain't in a cave. Miners called it a drift or attic. You can see some quartz veins overhead. It's them white streaks of rock that go up over our heads. Yes, sir. It sure is easier for you folks walking on this board floor than the one they had. And right overhead, there is a real large scope. It probably goes up 25 feet or more. They was following a series of gold-bearing quartz veins that looked like the branches on a tree. Number seven, here we go. You know all the drops of water won't hurt you. It's just groundwater seeping through the rock. Oh, here, but this one has the ceiling and the walls too. That slick stuff you see here is called flowstone, which is being gradually deposited by see the water. water dripping? This is what makes those strange. That's the bell signal for ready to blast, or they'd hear the blaster yell, fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. The fuse were lit. Then, it's very cool. Oh. <laughs> Definitely not a very good place for tall people. So you got to duck the whole time. Interesting time. It has been my pleasure. I always like talking to folks about the gold bug. I had a great time. The ceiling was low, not a good place for tall people. I had to bend over a lot. Uh, I did not whack my head, but uh, I'm sure it has potential for that. It's very cool. But uh, yeah, the guided tour was very informative, gave dates and times and those kinds of things. Yeah, it was very good. It took about 20 minutes, half hour. Yeah, very cool. Okay, we're here at the observatory. Uh, the observatory was very cool. Uh, we seen Jupiter and the moons. We seen the rings of Saturn. It's a free activity that is conducted by volunteers, usually on the weekends, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But check the website for times and dates. All this and that the other thing, and rings and little moons and blah 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 blah. But oh, for gosh sake! That's really there. This is really there, right? This is not like a magic scope thing. <laughs> With little pictures in it. Oh my gosh. Like my marshmallows burned, but before you burn them, you gotta melt the inside. So you can't have a burned marshmallow with the hard center. That's just wrong, especially if it's hard and cold. So we have to toast it first, and then once they get big and fluffy, we'll set them on fire to just the right. So it looks like they're blowing up now. It's getting ready. 
and they're getting loose. See how they're kind of loose? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna let them catch on fire. There they go. And we've got the torch. Oh, bad. Be careful. Oh boy. Well, shoot. All right, I'm gonna do mine. Golden brown. Okay, so that's it. That's it, look at that, perfectly golden brown. Yeah, but I bet you a quarter of the middle is still hard. I don't think you've seen that. That was delicious. How was it? Pretty delicious. Golden, golden brown on the outside. It wasn't hard on the inside. It was nice. And... Well, it's uh, Sunday morning. Packing up. I think we have just about everything. Got all hooked up here. I have to say, I don't have uh, any negative things to say about this place. I like the uh, park. I mean, the water could be a little bit higher down here, but hey, that's just nature. Park has been uh, wonderful, pleasantly surprised. Definitely, if you're uh, up this way, stay at uh, Placerville RV Resort. Kudos to them. Also while on this trip, we visited Apple Hill and had a great time. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave it up in the top corner and in the description. Definitely check out that video. That's the main reason we came up here. If you like this video, appreciate a thumbs up. It, uh, it helps us out. And uh, if you want to see more content, hit that subscribe button, ring that little notification bell. Now where you're updated every time we post a new video. I appreciate you joining. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Love y'all. Peace out.